Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to add 10 gigabit networking to your Dell R720 or R720 XD server. So what you're looking at here is my R720 XD and a lot of times these uh, servers come configured with this quad port uh, 1 gigabit uh, network card. And this is great. Uh, this is actually a really nice 1 gigabit card. It's got four ports. It supports virtual functions, which is really great for virtualization if you want to use that. Uh, 10 gigabit is getting more affordable now. And so a lot of people are starting to use that in their home networks and their home labs and stuff like that. And so at some point you want to add 10 gigabit networking to the server. Now, probably the most straightforward way is to get yourself a card like this, which is a 10 gigabit network card. And it's just a PCI card and you would add this to a PCI slot like here or here something like that. But the R720 XD and the R720 actually have another option that I think is pretty neat. And I want to show that to you guys today and show you how to install it. So that card is this. Oh, let me turn around so you can not have to read the part number upside down. But it is MT09V. And this is a replacement card for this quad port NIC. And it's got two one gigabit ports on three and four, but ports no one and two are 10 gigabit ports with these uh, SFP ports. And so this gives you uh, 10 gigabit networking, but also uh, keeps the, the other two one gigabit ports. So that's kind of nice. If you want to maybe uh, segment your traffic and say just uh, for management stuff, you want to stick to the one gigabit, but when you're doing your file sharing or your iSCSI or whatever, you want to use the 10 gigabit, you know, you can still have both. And honestly, you know, for most home networks, if you end up going with 10 gigabit, you're probably not going to use these uh, four gigabit ports anymore, or you might only use one of them, right? And so in that case, this is actually a great replacement because you don't end up using one of your PCI slots. Um, you get your 10 gigabit and you still get uh, a couple of one gigabit ports and you're not wasting the one gigabit ports that are sitting here. So anyway, this is a, a pretty awesome uh, little option that I think is great for these uh, R720s and R720XDs. I also think this might actually work in a R620, but I'm not absolutely sure about that one. Also, if you prefer copper, so this is uh, has two SFP ports, and I tend to prefer SFP uh, 10 gigabit right now, uh, especially for home networking use, because uh, combining this with a DAC cable or the direct attached copper cables uh, is really, really affordable. Now, let's say if you already have a 10 gigabit switch that has copper ports, like the ones with the RJ45 connectors, uh, there is another card um, like this where these 10 gigabit ports are the copper ones instead of the SFP ones. So I don't have the part number with me on that one. Um, but there is that option, so you can go uh, look for it if that's what you prefer. But honestly, I prefer the SFP stuff just because the overall uh, cost of getting the whole system up with 10 gigabit is, is usually more affordable by using SFP. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to show you how to install this guy in here today. So you need a Phillips number two uh, screwdriver, and I highly recommend you use just a hand screwdriver instead of a power tool. Um, these screws here are plastic and so uh, you risk possibly stripping them or damaging them uh, if you're using a power tool. So I, I often use a power tool uh, to be honest, but in this case uh, I prefer using a hand tool. And so there's these two screws that hold this card down and all you have to do is uh, loosen them up. They do not come all the way out, they're just holding the card uh, in place. And so they're not very tight either or they shouldn't be very tight. If you find them uh, really tight there's probably something wrong there but they shouldn't be very tight you just kind of um, loosen them up and you know once they're loose you can kind of do the rest by hand and once this thing is kind of moving up and down loose like that that's that's good enough it's not going to come all the way out like I said because you're actually going to use this to help pull this card out okay so now you can see that both of these are loose enough that they're moving up and down and so you actually use these uh, screw heads to pull this card out. Now before you pull anything out, remember if you still have any uh, network cables attached to the back of this card, make sure to unplug those first. Um, otherwise you might end up damaging something or pulling something. So make sure to remove any network cables like this uh, off the card first. And then 
just grab these two um, blue screw heads and pull straight up like that. And that's all there is to it. And then this comes out. And as you can see, this is the Broadcom uh, quad port network card. And the connector that does makes all the electrical connection is like right here, which goes into here on the board. Now, the 10 gigabit port um, card that we're putting in also has that port. And we're gonna have to get that aligned with the, the port here or the connector here. And so uh, let's go ahead and try to install this. But one thing to note is that this has this massive heat sink right here with the heat pipes. And this is the 10 gigabit controller chip underneath here. This is fairly large. And at first glance, it actually kind of obstructs uh, against the, the riser cards. So it's a little hard to get in. So you, what you have to do is you have to enter it at an angle like this. And so I'll go in at an angle and just kind of get underneath these plastic pieces that usually kind of get in the way if you're just kind of going straight down. So go in at an angle and then you have to angle this part into the hole uh, on the rear uh, window of the, the server chassis. Okay, so I'll go in like this and then kind of lay it down and then make sure the rear is sticking out the, the hole. There we go. Okay, and now the next part is a little bit tricky because of this connector, I find, doesn't easily line up all the time. And what I, so you'll see me sticking my finger down in here. What I've figured out is that you have to apply a little bit of pressure to kind of press this in. Notice how that moves a little bit like that. So just press that in and that helps align it and just kind of wiggle it a little bit until it gets in. And so once it gets in, you can press on these two blue dots right here and that goes right in, okay? And so when it goes in, this little plastic thing will kind of stick out and be level with the rest of the card. And also these, um, the blue screw heads um, will, be, will be popped out a little bit. And that's because they're making contact with threads underneath and so they're not gonna drop all the way through. Now, if this card was not fully seated, so let me just pull this out just to kind of show you. Okay, so if I, I pulled it back out. It, when they're not fully seated like this, you'll notice the screw heads can go all the way down, right? And that's, so, you know, don't, um, don't force this um, because if this connector is not all the way in and you start screwing these guys down, it'll end up bending this board and probably end up damaging it. So you don't want to do that. So again, I'm going to, press down over here, just kind of just move it in a little bit and then press down. And so that gets it in and you'll see that the screw heads are now popped up a little bit because they're making contact with the threads on the other side. And so the last step is to just um, screw these back down. And again, these don't have to be very tight, really just kind of finger tight with a hand screwdriver. So I'm just using two fingers and that's all the pressure that I'm applying. Okay, and same thing on the other side. Okay, and just finger tight, and that's it. There you have uh, now two 10 gigabit ports and two one gigabit ports without using any PCI slots, and it's a great option. And by the way, the way this is cooled is actually um, pretty nice because you have this air shroud that directs air over the chipset that's here and that air comes out and blows over this heat sink to cool that 10 gigabit. So it has a, actually a very nice uh, cooling solution that goes along with it too. So, all right, so hopefully that uh, gives you guys uh, some ideas of what you can do to upgrade to 10 gigabit on your R720 or R720 XD. And I also have this card in my store, so I'll leave a link in the description for you if you'd like to buy it from me. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like for me and subscribe if you'd like to see other videos from me. All right, thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.